Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Damriel. Welcome everybody to Final Fantasy XIV. In today's video, we're gonna do a live commentary and I will show you how to set up the current UI that I have right now. A lot of you and a lot of you have been asking about a video for my current UI, why do I have it, and what are the advantages of it from my personal perspective. So there we go, we got a video happening right here for it. So. I guess the main question is, when did I get this UI? I got this similar UI idea back in the days of World of Warcraft. It was slightly different uh, compared to what it is right now. Right here, I feel like it's a little bit more organized and just looks a lot neater with the way that Final Fantasy XIV UI is like. But I used something called Bartender back in World of Warcraft. I made about three or four rows of bottom abilities, three or four rows on the side, and pretty much kept it like that. I didn't really have any kind of abilities to the left or on top of me, I just wanted to keep everything to the bottom and to the right to kind of keep it out of the way so I can focus more on the actual world around me. Because when you're doing raiding or PvP or anything like that, you have to see the world around you. You can't just tunnel vision yourself on this ability bar or this ability bar whatsoever. And besides, I wanted to just have a clean UI that I can just focus on. The chat was over to the left, map was always to the right, a bunch of tooltip stuff was always simply to the right. I It's a little bit different for Final Fantasy XIV, but it's fine as is. So let me go ahead and target Croc, right? There we go. So, as you can see right here, this is where the health bar is. When I'm fighting an enemy, I usually see the health bar up here, compared to how by default it's usually on top. The reason why I wanted to keep it down here so I can see the debuffs, see my own buffs, and be able to see the cooldowns of my career. You know, personal ability. So my eyes don't have to dart all the way up here, down here. They're gonna be a quite big distance if they have to dart all the way from the top of the screen to the bottom. This way, keeping the health bar on the bottom, I can see the enemy health bar, my own buffs and debuffs, know where to reapply a straight shot or any other buffs that I need currently for my class that I'm playing at the moment, and know when my cooldowns have reset so I can properly play the game and also focus on what's going on in front of me while seeing what's happening down below, seeing my cooldown, seeing the health bar, seeing what dots I need to refresh, all that jazz. It's pretty much a very ergonomic setup that I got some time ago and was comfortable with it. Now, how to set it up? I'm going to go ahead and start off a brand new layout with you. I'm going to show you exactly what I did to set it currently up. So, what you want to do is, whether you're on console or PC, this is going to be mostly used for, for PC rather than console, so, sorry console players, you might have to think of a different UI out there. What you want to do is open up the HUD layout. Now the first thing you want to do is, move the experience bar out of the way. You want to move the experience bar, notice as inventory with main menu and kill, kind of out of the way so it's not in there, right? This is going to be the last thing to worry about. What I want to do first is move the parameter bar, and I believe you can hold down shift to keep everything snapped. Yes, you can hold down shift to keep everything snapped. Move it down to the very bottom. Like, this is the... I, this is the stuff you're gonna see the least amount of. Like, you see your health bar, your mana bar, your TP. If you want to, you can move it to the top. If you're a healer or a tank or something, you need to manage your MP and HP. But most of all, I keep it down below. This is like the last thing I need to worry about, since I mostly play as DPSs for my classes. Just back to hot layout, move this out of the way for a little bit. So I'll go over and try to find hotbar 1 and hold down shift again to keep everything nice and snapped together, move it all the way to the bottom. Then if you can select hotbar 2, you just scroll over here, select hotbar 2, hold down shift again, and move everything down, snap to the very bottom again. Afterwards, we do the same thing for hotbar 3, easy as that, and hotbar 4. Now, if you want to make some room between the parameter bar and the hot bar, you're more than welcome to. It's up to you. You can move it on up just a slight smidge, just to keep that nice divided separation between them, if you really want to. I... I think I would just leave it like that. Cross hot bar, I just simply leave just down the middle, wherever the... wherever every other hot bar is at at the moment, just to make it easier for me. I don't really mess around with the cross hot bar at the moment. It's there for the controller experience. Now... The experience bar, I simply put off to the side like this. If you want to put off on the other side, just anywhere to the bottom of the screen so it's out of the way, it's probably the best way to do it. Because the experience bar at a certain point at level 60 is really not gonna matter. Things like main menu can go all the way to the bottom as well. You can place them like this so it doesn't, you know, interchange or doesn't cross with the experience bar. I typically remove the inventory grid, but if you want to keep it, you're more than welcome to. I'll show you can remove it afterwards. Notices are going to be pretty important, so I'll keep them somewhere around this area. Gil, I mean, Gil is going to be pretty important. You might want to keep a Gil somewhere around here. 
So maybe place scale all the way to the bottom since it's not the most important information out there. And there you go. Most of the stuff is pretty put away. Progress bar is another thing. This is the casting bar. The cast bar output straight down the middle right above maybe here. There we go. Just don't even have to hold shift to snap it. Just brief grab it and put it down the center. So you can see the cast bar run in front of you as you see the enemy health and everything. Now, in order to figure out the best place to put the status effects, let's say for example, I'll just scroll them all the way down and put them maybe right about here. See, since you're going to be filling stuff up in, the, in bar 4, let me go ahead and select it right here. If you're going to be filling up stuff in bar 4, it only makes sense to put all the status, status effects right there where you can see them. If you want to put them to the other side, you more than welcome to. You can put them really wherever you want to. I just like to keep them nice and close to the entire hotbar. Kind of keep everything in this box together here, you know? Afterwards, target bar is another thing you want to focus on. Now, before you can even do anything with the target bar, I would close out the UI, go over, target anybody at all so you can get the target bar right here. Then, go to the menu, uh, then let's go with HUD layout, and afterwards, you now have the target bar available for you. I would say I'll put it roughly right here. See, typically, since it's scaled the way it is, it wants to lean to the left, but I like to keep it towards the center, mostly so I can see the entire health bar right there, and see the buffs and debuffs towards the center. So keep everything boxed in, but most focus is towards the center as much as possible. Now you want to kind of move around a bit, and you will have to adjust it on the boss battle or against ads. It's going to be fine. You have to take some time to adjust it to make sure it's all nice and clean for you. I simply just keep it down the middle, kind of like this. So there we go. For the most part, we have most of the abilities set up for the main crossbar. Let me just go ahead and pull up the macros and just fill this up with macros so you guys can see. Oh wait, hold on. We gotta actually activate the hotbars. So we bought up active hotbars 1 and 2. We gotta activate bars 3 and 4. So for that, we go to character configuration. Then, we want to go over to hotbar settings. And then, display hotbar 3. And display hotbar 4. Apply and as you can see because of my current UI everything is already set up nicely for me to see everything But you should be able to see the hotbar at that point at least if not filled with abilities at least a brand new hotbar right then and there now We're gonna go ahead and use HUD layout again pull it up again We're gonna create the right corner that you saw before the four rows that I have we're gonna move the dusty Not the dusty list. Sorry <laughs> the duty list over like this just kind of out of the way and then we're gonna go ahead and line it up with bars 7. You can just grab this one over here and you can line it up however you want. I usually match it up with the map corner and sometimes like server info I'll put it in the very top corner. It's not gonna be that big of a deal, I just put it off to the side so I don't have to focus on. When the map I can move as well. After that you can take hotbar 7, kind of crop it in together where the map is. Hold down shift again for hotbar 8. Same thing for hotbar 9, hold down the snap it together so it makes nice 4 rows, and hotbar 10. There we go. Now they got a hotbar set up perfectly. Limit gauge, you could, if you want to, you can put limit gauge down here so it's a little bit easier to see it. So when it starts charging up, you can see it directly, which is something I would definitely recommend. If you want to keep it at top left, you're more than welcome to, but I would just keep it down here so you can see the limit gauge all together. If you want to put it to the other side, right here under the chat, you can do that as well. Up to you, whichever one you prefer. I just kind of keep it over here for now. Party list, I put it in the top corner. Enemy list, I keep it roughly around here so it's easy to see things. Maybe move it up like this just to get everything going. Alliance list 1, I kind of keep it like this. Alliance list 2, I keep it right next to like that. Just so everything is nicely together with a party list. Duty list, I believe I keep duty list somewhere around here. Oh yeah, there we go. I keep it somewhere around here next to hot bar 10. Now, it does make it jut out a little bit more and makes it a little bit in the face of questing, but it's fine. I'm completely content with that. I don't really mind. If you want to move it downwards or something, you're more than welcome to, so it's a little bit more out of the way. I'll put it to the other side completely. You're more than welcome to do it as well. Up to you with that. I just like to keep it right here next to the hotbar 10, next to the four rows. Focus target bar, I'll maybe keep it down here. And therefore, you got the UI that I usually have. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. 
pet hotbar can be placed up top of the chat if you want to, up to you. Hotbar 5 and 6, I don't usually mess with them, I simply just kind of move out of the way and not really worry about them. Then uh, they are a non-issue for me, a non-concern at this point. So yeah, pretty much this is my entire UI according to the HUD layout. I simply go ahead and go save. You can mess around with a lot of things if you want to, it's up to you. I'm gonna keep with my current one right now, but I'll show you the new one that I got going on. See, the slight adjustments that I do with them sometimes. Sometimes I like to keep Alantis 1 or 2 on top like this, since I, as a healer, I don't really focus about it. If I do play as a healer, I like to keep it like this, so it's a little bit more together rather than split apart like this. Now, for the next task, we're gonna go ahead and learn what to do with these other hotbars and how to make it so that they don't have to change according to your class. For example, right now if I were to actually turn them on, let's go back to character configuration, hotbars, go down to vertical type, hotbar 7, 8, 9, and 10, we have them enabled. At the moment though, when sharing wise, you might have this messed up a little bit. Maybe hotbars are not going to be shared as much for you right now, so let me go ahead and turn them off. See, these aren't shared right now currently, that's what you might see. If you can see the white number, that means the bar is not shared. What you want to do? Hotbar settings, sharing, turn on 7, 8, 9, and 10 as sharing so you can see the same hotbar for all your classes, right? For, so for example, let me go ahead and switch to a different gear. Let me switch to Machinist, right? You can see the bottom bar is completely different. The right though stays completely the same. And what I like to do on the right is Maybe place my classes around so I can switch between them a little bit easier, stuff like that. Maybe place my little minions and stuff like that, my little cute little critters right here, the yokai monsters and stuff like that. Maybe my mounts, and include the chicken, cause why not, emotes, chocobo stances and gifts of greens, anything that you're not gonna use in combat but just gonna use for silly stuff or class stuff, you place it here. Like for example crafting professions, all that, all the stuff that you're not gonna do for battle, you can place it here. This is your open space to do whatever you want with. I really like the ability to switch between classes on the go on click, instead of opening up the character sheet, pulling up the gear set list and then selecting the gear set list. I just like to uh, click the button. By the way, in order to get these buttons to appear this way, you go over to the character sheet, pull up gear set list, and then click, hold, and drag onto the bar if you want to create a button for your class. And then if you want to take it off, you simply just take it off, unlock, and toss it out, and done. And that's how you do it. This is literally the easiest way to set up your classes for sure. And as you can see, I kind of lined up mine according to this right here. So Gladiator comes first, Pugilist next, Marauder, Lancer, Archer, Rogue, Conjurer, Thamator, Jarkanius, Dark Knight, Magician, and Astrologian. That's pretty much how I set up my classes. I don't have Summoner and Scholar yet. I'll have to figure out where those go and especially get my Carpenter in there eventually. I don't know how I'm going to get that. <laughs> but for now, this is the best way I can do the UI for now. Item settings is something you want to go over too. Inventory interface, as you can see right now, if I were to hit my inventory, how big it is. If it wasn't expanded and it was normal, my inventory space would be this. And I'll have to switch between different tabs. Now, some players like that because it keeps everything in a nice little box. I prefer expanded. I want to see my bags and everything that's going on here, especially my key items and crystals, right? I want to see what everything is going on. I, I want to see. This is a mess, by the way. Please ignore this. This whole thing is just a mess. I need to clean it up. I put away a lot of stuff like fantasy potions and stuff like that. <laughs> but I like seeing everything opened up together nicely. So I can kind of move things around whenever necessary. You know, when I think things need to be moved, I'll move them. Otherwise, also retain the inventory interface. I will also keep it expanded if you want to. That's a really good idea to do so. Afterwards, feel free to just play around with these kind of settings. We'll go back to UI settings. Now, in the HUD, there are certain things you can make appear and certain things you can make disappear. For example, display flying text if you want to, parameter bar, experience bar if you want to take that away completely, you're more than welcome to, parameter bar you will take away as well, display enchantments and feebles if you want to, inventory grid is something you can make disappear as well, it's going to be this stuff over here, the inventory grid that's going to show you the amount of stuff that you have in your inventory. See, a lot of players don't really use this because this is mostly used for players that want to know how much backspace they got open and what the gear is like. I don't really care much about it, so I usually take it away and keep apply. Number of duties displayed, you can also have that available. Display minimap, display gill, server info. If you want to display gill or take away gill, you're more than welcome to, or server info, up to you. 
set your origin time, local time, or server time for anything. For the chat, you're more than welcome to do whatever you want with it. Minimap, you can do, you can put it on left side if you want it. You can reverse the setup completely. Put all these like utility bars and whatever bars to the left if you want to, or swap these around vice versa it's up to you do whatever you want with your ui this is just what i got currently going on for my current ui and that's about it As, um, afterwards i really got nothing else to share much this is it guys that's my ui nevertheless i hope you enjoyed and let me know if this video helps you out in any way shape or form my name is Samriel. like subscribe and as always have a good day and i'll see you guys all in the next video of final fantasy 14 see ya